you know, that really has been the same since the day he got got here. Um, you know, I mentioned him just, you know, being mature. Um, you know, he understands the seriousness. Um, you know, he, even when he was the third quarterback, um, he always prepared like he was going to be the starter. Obviously not getting the practice reps, um, but just the work that goes into it, whether it's, you know, with your teammates or also, you know, without your teammates, just in the film room, everything like that. And um, that's just continued. I think, you know, he's been able to focus in a little bit more, you know, with the experience of doing it. Um, but like the, the work ethic thing has been consistent since since he since he got here. What is his influence on him? I'm sure it has some impact on his growth. Yeah, those guys are both obviously very experienced. Um, you know, Brian, you know, has been in the league for a long time. Obviously, Jimmy's played a lot. Um, so just being able to you know kind of share experiences with Aiden. Um, they're also both great guys too. You know what I mean? So it's all you know whatever they can do to help him, which in turn you know helps the team. You know. Um, so just you know, every a tidbit here and there, nothing like over the top, but just kind of being there for him, you know, on a daily basis is one big. You're seeing more of the agents for Valley kind of come out a little. Um, you know, he's always kind of had a little bit of that dry humor to him. Um, he's never like been like a super shy guy. He, so I think he's kind of maintained that level, you know, of just being himself, you know. And, and I think that's what. So maybe the maybe to the players is a little different, but just from my perspective, you know, it's kind of. He's been, been steady throughout right. the whole process. Becoming the quarterback, though, becoming the man guy, did that change a little bit? It's like a more of a leadership kind of Well, he, you know, aura, I guess, whenever or? he was in the huddle, like he always was assertive, and, and um, I think the players respected that. And I think you're just seeing more of it because he's right. in there. You know. Cool. So, cool. Yeah, no problem. Yep. Uh, he's, 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 he's probably right. one, of the, is, is, is one of the rare rookies that I've been around. Um, to, to you know, when you talk about a guy coming in that's been that extremely focused and mature as far as the day to day uh, part of the pro, for us, um, he, really, he really is exceptional because not only in the building, but also outside the building and going home and, and making sure that, you know, when he comes back in the building, he's prepared and ready to go. So when you guys drafted him, he wasn't just a speed guy, but in what ways has he, has he surprised you at all? Some things he's done the better you thought he was going to do, or not really? Um, no, what you, what, you, what you like to see is because is you do have an, an idea, but when, when, when someone comes in the building and, you know, they just continue to improve and get better and better, um, you know, he's been, you know, it's, it's really been good to see. It's really been good to see. And also, he's in a unique situation where he gets an opportunity to learn um, from some other exceptional individuals in that, in that, in that uh, room, um, especially with Devontae and Jacoby and Hunter and, and those veteran guys, um, and um, D. Carter as well. I mean, so he's, he's surrounded by you know some guys that have been extremely successful at this level. Um, and they all have done it from different levels as a free agent, um, as no, a high draft pick, um, as a, um, a veteran guy that's been extremely productive time in and time out. Uh, so he's kind of getting it from a lot of different perspectives. AP mentioned today about the rookie wall. How much are you aware of that? Are you using to look for? Or is there things you, warning signs, I guess? or? You know, it's, it's kind of wear and tear as far as, you know, some guys from a mental standpoint. But, um, you know, I think our guys have, have been committed and, 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 and with our scheduling, um, I think um, AP has done a, a phenomenal job to make sure our guys stay um, rested so that when they do come in the building, um, you know, they're focused. Um, and they're ready to go. Um, so I think all that factors into it, and I think our guys are going to do a pretty good job with that. How does a, I don't know, how unique is the challenge, I guess, to coach somebody like a Devontae who, you know, is one of, if not the best receivers in the league, but still nobody's above coaching, I guess. Well, um, you know, what's, what's, what's unique about it is, is he wants to be coached. Um, he wants to um, be the best, and, and he is. Um, you know, but there's always ways that we can improve and ways that we can get better. Um, he's, he's not a finished product. Uh, he's always trying to do more, um, improve, um, 
you know, and also there's a standard that comes along with that. And so, you know, if, if we're not working towards constant improvement, then we're going the other way. And that's something that, you know, he's, that's, that's, that's not part of who he is and what he's about. So, you know, the, the, the goal is to continue to go out there and keep getting better um, and keep putting it on tape um, um, and doing it the right way. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool, thanks. Um, the, uh, Josh Jacobs run the other day, Mike, Mike's uh, blocks were pretty impressive, it looked like, on film. How far has he come as a blocker? He's done a nice job um, in that, and I would say a lot of you know, the credit goes to him. He's worked really hard on it, uh, not just during practice, but before practice, after practice, from things like hand placement to head placement to body position, body control, and all that. And uh, he's done a nice job in all those areas. And, you know, if you watch him throughout the year, it's not always perfect on everything. He's always had the will to do it, which is a big part. And if he's sort of honed in on the fundamental technique of it, whether it's a drive block, an angle drive, a combo block, whatever we're asking him to do, he's been doing it. And I think that was a great example. I think that play just, with Josh you know, Rose is a great example of how far he's come. And you see him um, but he, he can really do it all in line, and uh, he's, he's shown that throughout the course of the year. Like, and, uh, every game's tough. He's you know, getting better at it. You it was kind of the knock on him. I mean, I don't know if you guys were. I guess the knock on him was that he's a great receiver. Can he block at this level? Did you guys ever see that as a concern that he's still just working on it? Or what did you see from I would say, like I like I mentioned earlier, like if a guy's a willing blocker, like that's a huge part of it. So as long as he's willing, I think. Think um, that you know, as a coach, kind of you're like, great, we can work with this. Let's that, go. You know, you know? I mean, and so, um, you know, and he's the, the hand placement really is a big nice thing with him, not getting place, it outside you know, and making sure it's in, fit inside um, and getting his yeah, legs well, underneath him and stuff. And so, he's always been willing, and so we've worked really hard at that since training camp, really the last 18 weeks or whatever it's been since we started camp, and even in the spring when we could. And he's done a nice job on that, and it's allowed him to play in line, and us feel real comfortable putting him in line. Um, how impressed have you been with his, his physicality as a runner after the catch? It yeah. seems, it's kind of stuck out. Of the yeah, I think that's something that showed up with him in college a little bit, you know, and his ability you know, to catch the ball and you know, finish runs. And that it is age, something that we try to put an emphasis on with him um, when he gets the ball in his hands is let's go, let's run, let's, let's, let's try to punish the guys. As long as he takes care of the ball, which is a big part of it, um, then we want him to run as hard as he can, get as many yards as he can, and he's done a great job You guys have done a really good job especially lately of kind of just leaking those guys out in the flat on you know certain play fakes and things like that uh, is, is that just something that you guys saw that you could be effective with I guess or is that just maybe part of the offense naturally yeah I, I think some of the tight ends in general their catches kind of happen naturally throughout the flow of the game um, you know and, and you're always trying to design plays for different things or different coverages or even different guys specifically sometimes their catches just happen in the flow and so sometimes it's compliments to what you're doing in the run game Game or something you see uh, on film or during the game where you say, hey, we can leak him out here or, or, or something like that or do this off the run action. And so that helps sometimes it gets him going with a full you know, hit as well. And some of them come to just a regular you know, drop back game too. So. Oh, could be, you know, I'm thinking of a Jeffrey in particular, but I think that all the guys, are, like, there's a lot of intelligence in your room, feels like. Yeah, I love all those guys in there. Sometimes it's as big as two or three You know, we're talking a lot about Mike. You know, one play might, Austin get you a first half conversion, awesome which gets you three um, more plays. You know what I mean? Which is, plays a great you know, and that's role. where, you know, the margin um, is, is does his job um, in this league. Every game, you know, every and, play. And I think those I types of things are just well. going to grow that way. And that's going to grow more teams this year, but, but I have no problem throwing him in there. He's done well. He knows what he's doing. And then Cole finally gave our practice squad guy. Yeah, he is. It's still, I mean, I think it's good, you know, for the team in general. I'm really happy with those guys. I love the way they go at it. I love the way they approach every day. And I love it. It's going to be good for everybody.